believing that this couple considers marriage to be a blessing, that they have prayed, planned, and prepared for it to be as such, and that they are confident that they have the blessing of God and family and friends, it's my pleasure to ask, Bill, who presents this bride, Tracy, to be married to this man, Michael? Her mother and I do. <laughs> Thank you. I want this one. I'll bring them together. Now you can go sit. Family and friends, we are gathered here at this hour to witness and celebrate the coming together of two lives. We have come to join this woman, Tracy, and this man, Michael, in marriage to be with them and to rejoice with them in the making of this important commitment. The essence of this commitment is the taking of the other in his or her entirety, a decision not to be entered into lightly, but only with great consideration and respect. Tracy and Michael have asked that I speak a word of welcome to you on their behalf. They are glad you're here with them today, and they want to share their joy and their love with each of you in this moment, because each of you, in your own ways, has given something of yourselves to their lives. Your love, your guidance, your friendship, your encouragement is forever appreciated by them, and so it is fitting that today you should share in their celebration to live their lives as one, which they openly declare to you and to one another. Let us pray. Dear God, who gives us the longing for love and the capability of loving, we give you thanks for Tracy and for Michael, for their open hearts and willing spirits, and for the example of love that they embody here today. Be with them on this joyous occasion, and be with us, all their witnesses, that we may be blessed by what is said and witnessed here. And we also may remember at, those time, at this time all those who have passed before, who cannot be in time here today, whose memory we hold in our hearts, and whose spirit we now invite to be part of this celebration. Amen. Now love, the love you see in front of you, is the highest experience that we can have. And the sensual part of love, combined with real friendship, makes everything that much greater. Marriage symbolizes the intimate sharing of two lives, but the sharing mustn't diminish the individuality of each of you. A marriage that lasts is one in which each of you will be individually developing while growing in an understanding of the other. Michael and Tracy, deep knowledge of another can't happen in short time, as you know. It takes years and years to make that intimacy, and that wonderful knowledge becomes so important that it helps life just to become more appreciated and more easy to live with the problems and failures and worries that come our way. And again, Michael and Tracy, while marriage is the intimate sharing of two lives, it can yet enhance the individuality of each of you. We give ourselves in love, but we don't give ourselves away, for marriage is the art of balancing the desires of each of you within the hearts of both of you, and doing so without an unbalanced sacrifice of either. A good and balanced relationship is one in which neither of you will feel overpowered or absorbed by the other. Thus, it is out of that harmony between separateness and union that love is born and reborn again and again. Tracy and Michael, you are marrying because you enjoy each other's company. You are marrying because you can grow in humanity and love more fully. You are marrying because you can be more trusting of life this way. Keep that understanding in your marriage fresh and alive. In marriage, a family comes into being, so be joyful in your family. Bring to this family a sense of comfort and strength, a joy and thankfulness for being together. Now that you, Michael, and you, Tracy, have chosen this path of marriage, you can rest in the expectation that the love you found is the fulfillment of the love you sought. We now ask that your hearts always remain open with thanksgiving to God for the miracle that brought you two together. And may the promises you're about to make to one another be lived out to the end of your days in an atmosphere of joy and celebration. These are the hands, strong and vibrant with your, your love, that will forever hold and be held as you promise to love each other all the days of your lives. These are the hands, young and unlined now, that will become lined and roughened with age and work. These are the hands that will cradle and comfort any and all children who become part of your world, hands that will join with the children's hands in work and play. These hands are the hands you will use to soothe and comfort each other, to wipe away tears, to hold each other close in sorrow and joy. These hands are the founding strength of your family. They can be a loving connection between your family and the world, a means of bringing help and comfort to others. So may you cherish these hands, and may God bless these hands now and forever. And now, do you, Michael, accept Tracy before God and in the presence of this community of family and friends to be your wife? I do. 
And to you, Tracy, accept Michael before God in the presence of this community of family and friends to be your husband? I do. Do you both promise to live with each other and laugh with each other, stand by each other's side, rest in each other's arms, be food for each other's soul, and joy to each other's hearts? Do you promise to make your relationship the most that it can be? We do. We do. Do you promise to laugh with each other, stand by each other in good time, in bad times and good times, give solace to each other when it gets tough, and to wipe each other's tears with your hearts? We do. We do. Do you promise to comfort each other with your bodies and spirits, mirror each other with your souls, share with each other your riches and your honors, yet find a way to be playful with each other, growing old, loving each other sweetly and gently through all the days of your lives together? We, we do. do. Then now, Michael, please repeat after me. I, Michael. I, Michael. Promise you, Tracy. I promise you, Tracy. As my wife. As my wife. My friend. My friend. My companion. My companion. To love you. To love you. Honor you. Honor you. Cherish you. Cherish you. And to stand by your side. And to stand by your side. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Tracy, please repeat after me. I, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Promise you, Michael. I promise you, Michael. As my husband. As my husband. My friend. My friend. My companion. My companion. To love you. To love you. Honor you. Honor you. Cherish you. Cherish you. And to stand by your side. And to stand by your side. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Now the marriage of Tracy and Michael brings together two traditions, two systems of roots, and hopes that a new family tree becomes strong and fruitful. Theirs is a personal choice. They are responsible, yet their life together will be enriched by the support of the family and friends from which each comes. So now I will ask you, the family and friends, for your vows of support. I will ask three questions, and your answers will be three times we do. The marriage of Tracy and Michael has called us together because this union is touching each one of us. A new family is established here in our midst, and we celebrate this relationship with the bride and the groom. Do you? who are family and friends of this couple, affirm your continuing support and love to Michael and Tracy as they grow in their marriage? Yes. Do you offer to them the best of your care and counsel in their times of struggle and your celebration with them in their times of joy? We do. do you wholeheartedly accept each of them into this very community and share with them the tasks of making this world a neighborhood of human care and human support? We do. Then Brett, the rings please. Thank you, Brett. What offer do you give each other in token of your vows? These, These rings. rings. From the earliest of times, the circle has been a symbol of love and never-ending love. So as often as you look at these circles, we hope you will be reminded of this commitment that you made here today in our presence. So Michael, taking Tracy's left hand, holding the ring up and not putting it on yet. Michael, in offering this ring, which marks your desire to enter into the days of your life together with Tracy, please repeat after me. To you, Tracy. To you, Tracy. I offer this ring. I offer this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And my devotion. And my devotion. And with this ring. And with this ring. I become your husband. I become your husband. And join my life with yours. And join my life with yours. Okay. All right, Tracy. Take his left hand. Hold the ring up to his finger, but don't put it on yet. Tracy, in offering this ring, which marks your desire to enter into the days of your life together with Michael, please repeat after me. To you, Michael. To you, Michael. I offer this ring. I offer this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And my devotion. And my devotion. And with this ring. And with this ring. I become your wife. I become your wife. And join my life with yours. And join my life with yours. Hold hands tight. Now you will feel no rain. Each of you will be sheltered for the other. Now you will feel no cold. Each of you will be warmth for the other. Now there will be no loneliness. Each of you will be companion to the other. Now you are two persons, but there is only one life before you. May beauty surround you both in the journey ahead and through the years. May happiness be your companion. And may your days together be good and long upon the earth. Because you, Michael, and you, Tracy, have come together with your hearts, minds, and souls and pledged in the presence of this community of family and friends to one another, the future in sacred matrimony, and by the power created by your commitment to love one another, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss.
Okay, don't, don't go anywhere yet. Just stay right there. Just look out there. Look out there. Are there flowers, Katie? May these two people, now married, keep the covenant that they made. May they be a blessing and comfort to each other. Console each other, help each other. May they encourage each other in all that life puts forth. May they trust each other and not be afraid. We who are present here, those who are anywhere, thinking of these two people, hope that this inspiration of this commitment will not be forgotten. May they love each other forever. And now, ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Michael and Tracy Williams. Now you can go. better kisser when watching TV who is in control of the remote who is most likely to say I'm sorry first now this next one's important who has the wackiest family who is the better cook who spends the most time in front of the mirror? Who wears the pants in the family? Wow, you were
Now my baby's all grown up, but the memories will last. They're just a couple of things that a mother will do. Men in a broken heart is only just a part of the care and the love that I've given you. With a cool aid smile.
can take some pro wings, make them cool, sell those, the sneakerheads will be like, ah, uh, he got the Velcro. Whoa. I'm gonna pop some tags, only got $20 in my pocket. Let's tell you know, shawty got low, 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 low. I ain't never seen nothing that'll make me go this crazy all night, spin them a door. Had a million dollar vibe in the body to go. Them birthday cakes, they stole the show. So sexual, she was flexible, professional, drinking Exino. Hold up, wait a minute, do I see what I think I will? Did a thing, I seen sure they get low. Ain't the same when it's up that close. Make it rain, I'm making it snow. What the f I got the bang roll? I'ma say that I prefer them no clothes. I'm into that, I love women exposed. She threw it back at me, I gave her more. Cash ain't a problem, I know where we go. She had them. It's over, you ain't gon' need your bow. Cause I'm a pro, make you bend your back low. Then the pound of real glad to like the percolate. Wobble, baby, wobble, baby, wobble, baby, wobble, yeah. 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 Yeah. 